2023 has shown us that love is still in the air, no matter what your type of relationship is. Let's take a look back at some of the biggest age gap relationships we saw on the channel this year. In fifth place is Ronye and Ronaldo. I'm Ronye and I'm 27. And I'm Ray and I'm 61. How did you meet? Met online. Met, met online. Ronnie's profile said that she liked older guys. And I'm like, well, shoot your shot, dude. She's real pretty. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. The pair met when Ronye was 19 years old and decided to tie the knot four years ago. I have four children, twin girls who are 22, a son 16, and I have a younger daughter, she's 13. And they were not as accepting outwardly as they would be face to face, especially with my younger children. They were very standoffish. Not so much anymore. I mean, they, they've really... Turned around. Yeah. So that, that makes me feel really good that they accept it. But not everyone has been accepting of their relationship. People making comments about reparations as far as our relationship goes, or people upset that he's white and an older man, he's 61. They mostly attack like our date night pictures. They attack that and it, it's clear from the pictures that we have a good, solid, fundamental relationship. A lot of people are like, oh, well, I have to hate on that. I can't accept that. Putting yourself first, cutting out, you know, the negative comments and anything someone says that you can't do or you shouldn't do. As long as you're not hurting anybody and you're not hurting yourself, then I think you should just go for it and be happy. And in fourth place is Glenda and Roy. I'm Roy, I'm 68 years old and this is my lovely, beautiful wife. Hi, I'm Glenda, I am 33 years old, and I did meet Roy when he just been diagnosed with prostate cancer. The way that we met was professionally through business. She reached out to me and wanted to sit down and talk because I owned and worked in an insurance company and a real estate company, and she was doing the same thing. So we just wanted to meet and compare notes. I realized I was attracted to her immediately. After we had our meeting and it started to feel a little bit like there was a romantic interest, walked outside, she had gotten in her car and I started to get in my car and I thought, you know, I need to make this very clear what my intentions are. So I walked the length of the parking lot, tapped on her window, uh, she rolled it down and I said, I wanna make this very clear that this is my attempt at a first date. I'd like to take you to, and I named a nice restaurant here in Anchorage. And I said, would you be interested in going? And she said, yes, I would. Not only did they have a 35 year age gap, but Roy was also dealing with some personal issues. I met Glenda. I had just been diagnosed with prostate cancer just a short time beforehand. There are some questions about, you know, your sexuality as a man. You know, there's some concern about it. I didn't want to take, especially a young, attractive woman through that. She said no, and her exact words were, I'm kind of a ride or die gal. I've worked in healthcare for a very long time, so it's like anybody that has health condition doesn't mean you're gonna die. So she went through it with me. She helped through the whole process and helped take care of me. To me, it was very clear from the beginning that this was a very and sincere- we weren't married then or anything, we just, mm -hmm. just dating, you know. And as well as receiving judgment for their age gap, Glenda also had reservations from friends. The age gap thing to most of my African friends wasn't a thing, but it was mostly the interracial relationship. And they're like, how is it like dating a white guy, especially an older white guy? And I'm like, what? It's just like being in a relationship with any other person. Babe, you can actually pull long hair. So <laughs> in third place with a 36 year age gap is Semi and Claudio. I'm 60 and Semi is 24. We've been together for six years. Yes. I met Semi when she was 18. We met on a dating site called Seeking Arrangements. Seeking is a website where you can date an affluent partner. I had been happily married for 18 years and I was newly single. I just thought I want to date someone that's not going to be very demanding. I saw Semi's profile. I messaged her. I said, hey doll. I've always been interested in somebody older than me. I needed an active partner. For me, this is the perfect age gap. But not everyone thinks that this is the perfect age gap. The judgment we receive online is crazy. It's a lot of hate comments, and I feel like more hate comments towards me. Which are gold digger, you're only in it for the money. We do 
Also, TikTok Lives, then a lot of comments, judgmental comments come through. We're gonna name this one, Don't Judge. Yeah. Ah. Good morning, everybody. Do, 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 do. All right, he must have money. That's the <laughs> truth. To have a girl like Sammy, you gotta have money. Get the bag, sis. Of course, the bag got me. If I'm gonna dig for something, it's not gonna be for dirt. I'm gonna dig for gold. So I laugh at that. I mean, of course, we're all gold diggers. I mean, no one's out there digging for pebbles. Doesn't bother me one bit because I know Sammy and I know our relationship. So I know what's going on. Sad, a literal disgrace. <laughs> blink, blink twice if you need help. My eyes are gonna dry out. <laughs> but the judgment doesn't stop them. In age gap relationships, you're always gonna have judges, but just be unapologetically yourself and show them exactly why their judgments are wrong. And always strive to make a mutually beneficial relationship, no matter what relationship you're yeah. in. In second place is Aaron and Michael. I'm Aaron, this is my husband Michael, and we have a 37 years age gap in our relationship. I am 29 years old. And I'm 66 years old. So we met in New York. I was actually working over on an internship and I was lucky enough to run into this guy. Run into? Well, to put it bluntly, you know, we messaged each other on Grindr. Um, initially, it was it was just a planned, meant to be a hookup, but one thing led to another and, you know. Now we're married. Now we're married. I was very wary about his age, but, um, you know, we talked and he had so many qualities and traits that I looked for. He's just like so, so hot, it's like easy on the eye, should I say. So I'm kind of like living in dreamland the whole time here. After spending time during COVID together, Michael decided to make it official. So this is our wedding album. I love this. Yeah, it's a very good album. I remember being in bed with Mike and when he proposed, honestly, I was lost for words because it was the furthest thing from my mind. Surprisingly, it was the easiest decision of my life. My relationship history is I tried with girls when I was like younger, faking to be straight. I was always into older men. I'm, look, I'm physically attracted to older men. So that was kind of when it became official. People were like, right, he is gay. I can't basically get married to an older gay man and <laughs> not be gay. Um, so that's, that's when I came out. I suppose the question that would come to people's minds straight away would be like, oh, this must be your son. They'd be like, oh, it's like, this must be your son. Oh no, that, that's my husband. <laughs> But Aaron's friend Luke had some reservations. It was like going through your head, I suppose. I was like, God, what about him? This guy got really hurt. Him. <laughs> uh, you've got this like guy who's like he's already got his life set up for himself in Manhattan. Who's like supposedly just dropping everything to come over to Dublin to Aaron, who like literally like can't go a morning without like getting the leg over with somebody else. <laughs> I mean, surprised myself to a certain degree, but I mean, to be honest, I also just never felt like this about someone as well. First of all, I can't believe when you saw us together, you didn't think it was real. I mean, you didn't think you can tell how happy we were. A lot of people are cynical. Like a lot of people think um, that Aaron's gold digging. Some people just like to Past judgment. First question, you know, all the people I meet at, are you guys monogamous? I remember like when you when you were having chats about it and you were like seemed pretty adamant about monogamy, I was like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> this is the start of a big drama. <laughs> Mike doesn't know what's coming. And again, I ain't uh he's proven me wrong, like. And in first place with a 42 year age gap is David and Jackie. My name is David and I'm 70 years old. My name is Jackie, I'm 28 years old. We are in love. And there is a 42 year age gap between us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm retired, Jackie has a job. At our local drugstore. And we've been together for more than six years. We met in October of 2016 when I was in the Philippines. I was using a dating site. One day I saw your profile. I practically jumped out of my chair. <laughs> I was so impressed by what I saw. I got his message and was like, okay. And we met. <laughs> we met for the first time in person at a Starbucks. It was fun. It was fun. I did not review his profile. I don't have idea how he looks like. <laughs> 
Maybe that worked to my advantage that she didn't know what I looked like <laughs> before we met for the first time. But it all worked out in the end. The couple got married not long after Jackie was able to move to the U.S. to be with David. So this is my wedding dress. When I wear this dress on my wedding day, I feel like I'm happy with the dress and then I'm happy with the person that I met. Mary. Our wedding day was fun. It was the best day of my life. My parents and my siblings couldn't make it here because they're in the Philippines. Dave's friends and sister-in-law was here, so I was okay about it. My family was very supportive and my friends also, yes. I won't regret when I married Dave because he's a really nice man. He loved me, he respect me, so he's the best. So we, did, we uh, well, the age go, I didn't have any problem at all. And since they started sharing their story online, they have received a lot of judgment. Overall, we've received very positive judgments. Yeah. That's not to say that every comment that comes in is positive. That's not the case. So wrong on many labels. He's my sugar daddy. They're using each other for their own personal gain. A green card digger. I am a gold digger. Money is green, and so are green cards. What are you doing, Grandpa, with her? Lucky Grandpa. <laughs> Some of the negative comments are kind of clever. And I'm not that really affected because it's not true. I know myself, you know, that I, I'm not a gold digger. Right. I pay most of the bills, but Jackie has a job. To support my family. To support her family. And I'm so happy to have you as my wife. I'm so happy to be your husband. My life has improved dramatically since we met each other. I just couldn't be happier. <laughs> if the two people love each other, if they want to go through life together, age is just a number. 